Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for the rat train. I'm going to find it. Hold on. Hold on one second. And we're also taking this mana crypt because, come on, we're not idiots. Oh, let me close this guy. Let me open up this guy. Bring you over here. I bet if I look that up. Oh, yeah, that's the one we're looking for. Open is in a new tab. Pause you. Bring you back. Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? <laughs> <laughs> Send them on down to Rat Train. I'm, fucking, I'm already losing it, man. That's fantastic. God, what a thing. What an actual thing this is. And then, have you ever gone out? Holy Jesus. Five. And what did you say? I think we just started on the rat train here. Yeah, we do. We do. Send them on down to rat train. Hodgkolashi, did that actually add the command? Yeah, there you go. You did it right. Okay, cool. I was like, I don't think at is the correct. So it's either Simic or Ashiok. We haven't Ashioked yet. Do we just ash the fucking... Oh my god, dude, that clip is insane. I can't even handle it. I want to just watch the whole thing. It's just gorgeous. I think we just start on the rat train here. Yeah, we do. We do. Send them on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> <laughs> Send them on down to rat train. And then have you ever gone outside? Have you ever gone outside? What the fuck is he talking about? Oh, we could add Pestermite and Deceiver Exarch. I'm gonna take this course of portal though. That seems to go well with Mana Crypt. Jeez, send him on down to Rat Train. Ooh, Fallen Shinobi in our blue black deck. I feel like I draft blue black all the time, but that's okay. That's hey, that's okay. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. That's okay. <clears throat> I also like Counterspell a lot. Send him on down to Rat. Yeah, he definitely, definitely has a twang in his voice, that's for sure. I'm going to take Counterspell here. Over what? What did I take it over? Fallen Shinobi? Fallen Shinobi comes back. Ugin or Ancestral? Oh, I like Ancestral here. I'm taking more... I'm taking more conventional control cards rather than these like splashy big cool cool dudes. Oh, I like an arcane artisan. I also like a sower. Batter skull is decent, but I don't foresee us uh, playing like Stoneforge in this deck. I think we're just gonna take sower here. Oh, here's downfall. Sure. I like mirror battlesphere. I like Leovold too. If we took that Simic signal, I'd be all over this Leovold. Let me just take Mirror Battle Sphere. Let's take Mirror Battle Sphere. Necromancy. Hmm. Okay. Now you're talking my language. I counter your big spell. A necromancy it back. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. Send him on down to Rat Train. I'm posting my Cool Stuff article to Facebook. Send him on down to Rat Train. Is the article is unfortunately not about the rat train. I'm going to take this Mind's Desire. Nothing else is getting played in this pack. And it just shouldn't be here. Oh, Pestermite too? 
Holy biscuits. All right, we'll take Pester Mite. Deceiver Exarch did not come back. Ophiomancer. Okay. Are you aware that Hardy's now is beyond? Yes. Yes, I am. And I have yet to try them, but I'm super excited about their existence. Send them on down to Rent Train. Yeah. Cassiger and Arcane Artisan. Just take the Arcane Artisan. What did not come back? What did we say was going to come back and didn't come back? I'm actually a little disappointed. Fallen Shinobi? Damn it. They're on to us. They know my tricks. Oh, Polluted Delta seems good for what we have going so far. I like a Remand. If, if Remand or Bone Shorter comes back, I'll be pretty cool with that, but we're not passing an on-color fetchy fetch. Thief of Sanity? Oh, man, that's also my jam. Look, there's a uh, there's a Kiki-Jiki. Yeah, just take Thief, I think. Show and Tell is always a trap. No one's ever passed. No one has ever cast a Show and Tell in the Vintage Cube and lived to tell about it. Him to Torok? I like him to Torok. I like it better than Boros, Rakdos, Signet, I think. <clears throat> so I'll have three drops here. Pestermite's kind of meh. Ooh, wow, that's a late... <laughs> it's a late Oko. It's like a third pick Oko. I'm like, whoa, that guy's late. It's fourth pick, I guess, right? We got him to Torak, Thief of Sanity. And we first picked a Polluted Delta. Fourth pick Oko. But we're not green at all, so I think we're just taking Snapcaster, especially with Counterspell and him to Torok. And then we're going to try to... We're obviously going to try to get Mana Drain, right? So that's not... And, like, now we can take, like, Ponders and Preordains a little bit higher because... Uh, those are cards I usually don't take that high, honestly. Um... Maybe I should take them more highly, but I don't, so. Treachery? Hmm, okay. Well, that's pretty good. Let's treachery, guys. Watch the commercial for Fallen Order and they spoil the bit. Oh, for real? That sounds terrible. I would never spoil it for you guys. I thought that reveal was phenomenal. I think it's just Force of Negation here. That is a solid counterspell. Collective Brutality? Oh, I like Phyrexian Arena a lot. Hmm. Actually, I like Golgari Signet. I think I like Golgari Signet over these. I would take Phyrexian Arena, but we already have Ancestral Vision here. <clears throat> I think we're taking Signet here. Brutality is a way to get a creature in the graveyard if we have one for Necromancy. That's not terrible. Yeah, let's take Brutality here. Oh, Worm Coil and Gonti and Search and Venser. Wow, this pack is great. It's really sad. None of these are coming back. I don't think it's Worm Coil. I like Gonti and Venser. Search is good. Search is real good. I think it's Gonti. I'm a big Gonti fan. Gonti, like, just letting you play your opponent's cards is just really good. I think it's just Mask Worm, guys. Uh, Bone Shredder's great, but 
We can just take this ultimate prize. Inkwell Leviathan, also pretty good. We can toss it into the trash can somehow. Could just be ultimate prize too. What if Tinker comes back? Then we do just take Inkwell and then we have Mirror Battle Spirit Inkwell. Tinker's not coming back. Lingering Souls? You could be alright if we hit good enough lands next. Makeshift Mannequin? Alright. I feel like you can't actually play the... Uh, you can't actually play blue-black without going into some sort of, like, reanimator build. Because there's just so many of these that come around. Don't come around. Here's a Black Lotus. First Black Lotus of the new year. Are you guys ready? Here it comes. Here it comes. Black Lotus of the new year. I lied. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Alright, so we know Tinker's gone, so we're probably not Inkwell Leviathaning. We could actually just necromancy it back or makeshift mannequin it back, and then they're never going to target it anyway. But we do need a, a resilient way to discard things. We don't actually have one yet. Because Search is gone, Liliana the Veil's gone. So it could just be Frost. Actually, Looter. <laughs> yeah, Looter's good. Um, speak of the Devil. Kate, Deb speak of the Devil. Katie, what's going on? My love. Alright, so we're going to get rid of... Not get rid of. Um, we're probably going to take Looter. I like Frost Titan a lot, but Frost Titan will probably come back. Jace, the Mind Sculptor, my dudes. I'm going to take a Jace the Mind Sculptor. And I'm going to play it on turn two with this Mana Crypt. And by turn two, I mean turn three. But either way. Scrabble God. That guy's pretty good. That guy is. Hammer Time. Happy New Year, my dude. Chase is overrated. Wow. Clearly, Gamma said is still drunk from New Year's festivities, and that's fine. We're gonna take Scarab God. Blightsteel and Mind Twist? Okay, so we don't have Tinker, so I can't I can't be excited about Blightsteel. I can be excited about Mind Twist though. Am I the devil? No, no, you are not the devil. You are most certainly not the devil. Driving Uber for 10 hours sounds exhausting. I'm gonna take this Thought Seize. Oh look, Splinter Twin. We could have had Kiki Jiki Splinter Twin, Deceiver Exarch, and Pestermite in our deck. We could have literally had it all. But now we're going to take Thought Seize. We're going to put Inkwell Leviathan in the side. Can we just get an Underground Sea for crying out loud? I'm going to take Mana Leak. So this is the new year. That's true. To all the pets you've spayed or neutered. That is... Uh, you know. Jace is definitely not over. <laughs> you guys are... You guys are funny. You guys are just jokesters. You got a bunch of a bunch of practical jokesters in the chat today. <laughs> you guys. You kids with your torrential gear hulk. Huh. Is that a thing we care about? Do we take bitter blossom? No, so we don't care about recurring nightmare that much. I think it's just gear hulk. Like we have counterspell, mana leak, uh force of negation. That's it though. Hmm. I mean, it's still the pick. Eh, Sphinx of the Steelwind, I guess. This is a deck where we're not we're not playing any colorless lands for sure. We got polluted delta and like we never get the watery grave underground sea. That's sad. So this is the new year. I think we just start on the rat train here. Yeah, we do. We do. Send them on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> <laughs> Send him on down to rat train. Crying out loud, dude. How does he exist? How does how is Mike a, a person that lives and breathes on planet Earth? I don't understand. On burial rites and a hypnotic specter, eh? I'll just take Hypnotic Spectre. Godless Shrine? Actually, that's not terrible with uh, Lingering Souls. 
Eh, it's Ignite. Alright, so this is 24. We need one cut. Probably make shift mannequin. Yeah, this seems great. This deck seems good. We got a lot of card advantage. Got lots of things to do. Play this guy. Add our basics. 8-8. Eight, eight. Deal. And we're going to play Mana Crypt as just actually a, a thing. Because I want to hit land drops here. Cut Jace or Ashiok. I'm going to cut you from the chat. So we need another blue source. Send them on down to Rat Train. Blue source, blue source, blue source. That was a blue source. It's a song I wrote. So we have 17 lands and uh, you know what? Do I care about this? Probably not. Well, that's fascinating. Hmm. They didn't. They didn't do anything. Fascinating. Oh, gonna make my hanger back walker real big. I mean, we have Massacre Room for that guy. I'd like to get a third blue source so I can go Counterspell, Snapcaster, Counterspell, but... God, saying I kill it then Massacre its babies just sounds so dark. It's getting so big. God, they get so big. I really would not like to miss land drops with this deck, especially when we have like 18 mana sources, course of portal, ancestral, etc., etc. I guess. whatever it's so stupid like they're hitting more land drops than we are and like they have a creature on board so like the incentive we have to just sit here and not do anything is zero so miscalculation feels bad cool missing land drops is a cool thing I guess we just take uh Let's take this guy. We can take the Brimaz, but it can't block the Hangerback Walker. So we'll just take the Hangerback Walker. And then they get to take it. Take it. Cause they take it right back, take it right back, take it right back. Nope. Don't like that. That would have been cool if they if you got to just do that. Hmm. Fascinating. <clears throat> oh, they took a point there. Interesting. Sure. Let's do 
So we're going to discard Battle Sphere for sure. Um, they have one card. Let's two mode it. Target creature gets neg two, neg two, and I kind of want the life here. Uh, choose a creature, get neg two, neg two, choose an opponent, discard battle sphere. Sure. <coughs> Okay, so now they're in top deck mode. <laughs> hey, buddy. Fucking amazing. Jesus, that's fantastic. Good times. Hmm, boy, that's that's something. So we can snap and like. Hmm, that is special, isn't it? No, we don't have ultimate price. Cast with two modes again. Neg two, neg two, and gain two. Cast. Kill you. Kill you. Discard looter. Oh, no attack there, huh? Face Fetters, Wrath of God, Gideon. Wow, Face Fetters would have been a... <clears throat> it's a decent hit there. Really, you needed that extra land, huh? Sure. <laughs> These top decks are insane. Cool. Must be nice. Hmm, boy. I actually kind of like Hypnotic Spectre. It doesn't seem like they have a ton of ways to deal with it. And Gearhold seems a little slow. Let's have Mind Twist and him. <laughs> Let's play 41.
Let's keep, let's get a swamp here. Why do you, that's so weird. Let's see what happens. Miscalculation. I'm going to miscalculate all your planeswalkers. <sighs> we just don't have the luxury of not doing anything. You going to copy my looter? That is strange. Of course, we can't play anything here, so that's... That's cool. No blocks? Oh, snap. Let's get rid of Hypnotic Spectre. And do one of these jobbies. Whoops! <laughs> See you later! Sword of Body Mind, Time Warp, Sphinx's Rev, and Fractured Identity, and they did not attack here heads. Good to go. Are we doing this? Oh, now you're blocking. Okie dokie. Necromancy the Hypnotic Spectre? It actually seems decent here. I don't know what our other options are. Plus, they get to keep up force and sower any big thing they play. Okay, we just win the game. Wow, Mind Twist is a hell of a drug. Yeah, this seems fine. What are you going to do without a hand control deck, dummy? That's that's true. What are you going to do without it? See if they miscalculate my spell again this game. <clears throat> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Yep, that's a good one. Jeez Louise. Oh, wow. That's also very good. Holy Jesus. Oh boy! <laughs> they went all in, all in on that turn one Brimaz, and then we got our our snaky boys out. Let's say heads. We lost the flip. Thief of Sanity is almost just better than. 
course of portal? They didn't do anything? Wow. Heads. One to flip. Oh boy. So now we just get to keep up Counterspell. And we get to mind twist our two cards while keeping up Counterspell. No, don't do that. Oh my god. Oh boy. Well, now I kind of just want to keep up mana time. <laughs> That's hilarious. Man, they went all in on this turn on Burmans, and I was just like, Ophiomancer. You know, you almost feel mad. Good lord, Thief of Sanity is no joke. Okay, well. <laughs> well, I think we're ahead. That's cutting me the game. <laughs> wow, our deck was nuts. Wow. Well, that was cool. I will play first. Yeah, okay. I mean, him to Torox is pretty good, so. I don't think we have to him yet because we can actually just play keep up force next turn for like a planeswalker. Uh, I like Ophiomancer here actually. Okay. What is even happening here? Oh good, we hit the one card that they can actually utilize in the graveyard. Seems good. Okay, so they're obviously some sort of red-white aggressive deck.
Yeah, this seems pretty bad. I think we're just dead here. Flame Tongue Kavu. That could help the cause. Oh yeah, now you're at 18. Basically dead. There are too many moments I try and use the MTGO hotkeys or clicks on your stream like they would do and that's hilarious. All right, let's go to the next let's go to the next phase video. Oh, it's not working. I don't understand. Firebolt my face. Why not the snake? And you can attack for four, five, six, seven, eight. I am pretty sure we're still dead, but Okay, so against this like Is there an efficient way we can get this in the graveyard? <laughs> I mean, we can board into like Arcane Artisan too. Bring in Iona, take out. Take out Force of Negation because it's just kind of slow. Oh, uh, we have one white fixing land. We have Goblet Shrine. It's not, it's not exciting. Ashiok's probably bad here. All right, let's try it like this. <laughs> I'm not, not going to board in a double blue, a double white card when we have no white mana in our deck. Uh, especially when they've shown Smuggler's Copter, which just easily gets around it. Um, Mulligan this hand. This hand's not great, but we'll keep it. I mean, we've got to put Sphinx on the bottom, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're dead here. They're also playing white, so it seems like they'd have an answer for a mode if they really needed one. Also, Mana Crypt is pretty scary against the Mono red deck. Wow, this is pretty rough. I feel like if we were able to drop Scarab God there, we'd actually be in pretty good shape, but... Yep. That is a problem. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay. Four islands. Well. That's totally reasonable. <sighs> I 
I'm a vanguard, okay. Swamp? Wow, we're so good at this game. Four, five, five mana. One black source. So our only options are Snapcaster with nothing, Collective Brutality. Scarab God, they have Caracas out, so it doesn't even do anything. Yeah, I, I don't think we're winning this game, guys. Target creature gets neg two, neg two, and we'll gain. Let's get rid of makeshift mannequin here. So we get to go to 10. I think we can take one damage here. Because being able to Snapcaster and Collective Brutality actually nets us two. I mean, we're at five, so we're probably just dead to Fiery Confluence, as always. Jesus. Okay, another island. Sure. <laughs> sure. All right, so 2-1 is the best we can hope for here. Yeah, all right. I'm game. Oko, Beast, Noble Hierarchy. Yeah, let's just take the only relevant card in your hand. <laughs> the only card we care about. And then we can actually take the Beast within, kill the Noble Hierarchy here if we want to. That's interesting. So Noble and Forest is gone. We have four of the five cards. We can get rid of Beast Within. I don't think we kill the Noble Hierarch, though, because, well, we have Massacre Worm, <laughs> to be quite honest. They drew a Courser of Crucifix. Yeah, I guarantee you that dude has heard Oh High Mark a thousand times in his life. All right. Maybe we should have killed the Noble Hierarch. Okay. Well, that's not bad. So they're going to draw Catacombs. Forcer and Forest are gone. Catacombs goes into the hand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whatever this is, it's going to the trash can, going to the trash can. Actually, I don't think I even care about that. So we they play forest? 
they did play a four. Thank you. So we know they have Sylvan Carry added Verdant Catacomb in hand. And they're drawing another forest? Sure. Sammy, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Do I care about this? We know they have Burn Catacomb and one other card in hand. Yeah, we know they're drawing a forest, so whatever. That might just be the play because they can't do anything next turn. Okay, two lands. So you draw a forest. Sure. Weird to play the forest there because now I kind of want to wait for Tireless Tracker and hope you don't have a land on top. Now well, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm going to pass here. No land on top. Yes, perfect. So you play Tracker. We get to kill Tracker and Noble Hierarch. Seems good. We do take three more. We go to nine, but that's okay. It's not okay if our Mana Crypt kills us, but it's okay otherwise. That was a gamble. Okay, so you get a free planes. Tracker, Tribe Elder, not track. So Moldrifter on top. One time. Oh boy. We're dead to our own we're dead to our own thing. What? You're at 20. We're probably dead to our own mana crypt. What? That was weird. What's everyone's dinner plans for New Year's? I have some Indian food going, but you already knew that. So, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Okay. I think we're submitting like this. I mean, I kind of like Iona again. Maybe discard Iona, put it into play with Necromancy or Mass Makeshift Manikin. Discard it with Arcane Artisan. I have no idea why they conceded. I want to take Force of Negation out. They have Oko, though. Whatever, we have two other counter spells. I think that's fine. Happy Honda days. I'll take Collector Brutality. <sighs> Collector Brutality kills a small guy. I'm going to bring in Mannequin, and I'm going to bring in Iona, and I'm going to bring in Arcane Artisan. I think if we can either Looter or Arcane Artisan and Iona into the graveyard and then bring it back, it's pretty good. Well, we're halfway there. <laughs> All right, well, give it a give it a shoddy. We can also Scarab God the Iona if it gets in the graveyard. That's an option. Mox Ruby Sakura Tribe Builder. Seems good. S 
searching for tomorrow. Living that dream. All right, well, hitting lands is good. I would love to go Mana Leak, Mana Crypt, Scarab God. That would be just wonderful. It also lets us play Gonti, and it puts us one black away from a Massacre Worm. Never, ever. That's really sad. No. Vivian Reed. All right, well, we do have a Gonti next turn, if nothing else. Hopefully they don't have any more broken stuff for seven mana, but it's going to be an Oko. Dislike. Dislike. Hashtag dislike. Yeah. Yeah, you can have that guy. Oh, yeah. You have one card in hand? Oh, boy, this game is blue mana. Wow, and it was a blue mana. That's amazing. I mean, they're 100% cracking this guy, I'm sure. Show me what you got. Primeval Titan. We could have just kept up Snapcaster Mana Lake, but they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If they crack this guy, 8 mana. So it's actually kind of hard to... Mole Drifter it is. Could have taken Tireless Tracker. It's almost like a cheaper Mole Drifter over the long run. Okay, so we only have two forests and one random card. Oh god. <sighs> well, I asked for Primeval Titan. I guess Magic Get a Gathering was like, oh, did you want your opponent to draw it? Sure, here you go. Can we draw Treachery? That would be sick. I don't think we've drawn Treachery once. I'll also take Sower of Temptation, you know? That's cool too. That's how we do it, I guess. Seems good. Time spiral. Wow. Okay, so this guy stayed the same. The Iona's gone, which is fine. Oko gets rid of Sower. Unfortunate. Oh, but that doesn't stop it. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I'm intrigued right now. I didn't know how that was going to work, and apparently... <laughs> and now the text is gone right so like I'll never lose the primeval titan right I'm pretty sure there's no text that will indicate I don't I don't know how that works Okay. All right. 2 1 again. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you guys for watching. I did not <laughs> Jace the Mind Sculptor. We Remember that time you guys were like, Jace is overrated, but then every time I cast Jace, I won the game. So, uh, I don't know. Lesson learned, I guess, guys. Lesson learned. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklaport, patreon.com slash franklaport, coolstuffinc.com. Every Wednesday, I have a new article going up, and you can use promo code frank5 to get 5% off. You can just check out manatraders.com. Link in the description down below. You can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate you guys. I'll see you later.